Julie, every Veterans Day, Americans across the U.S. take time to honor those who served our great country. Tonight, a Kentucky man is doing just that by making sure that honor is American-made. Beneath the Stars and Stripes at Kentucky Veterans Cemetery North in Williamstown are at least 16 veterans who died alone. When you look along the wall here, um, what do you see? Veterans that are buried here that died with no family members. Alvin Duncan is the cemetery's director. We keep that flag so that in case somebody does come back. So far, just one claimed. 15 flags remain. I flip it over and... and it's pretty obvious. Our veterans should not be in cases that are, that are made in China. But Craig, this is where it's all going to be happening, right back here. This baby. is Joe Montgomery. He's the founder of Operation Honor. It's nothing fancy, but it'll get us going. Set up in a makeshift warehouse in Florence, Kentucky. Operation Honor gives disabled veterans like Samuel Deeds a job, making cases for burial flags. It was an idea forged nearly two years ago when Joe got a call from Alvin Duncan about a funeral for private first class Harold Laws. He's being buried today at noon and nobody's going to be there. Here's a veteran that we need to pay some respects to uh, and make sure there's someone there to honor his service. Joe says only a handful of strangers attended and it raised a certain question. How often does this happen? How often do you receive a, a flag that from a veteran where there's no one there to accept it? He said, come with me, and that's when we walked in this room. When Joe took a closer look at the flag cases, he knew he had to do something. Now, finally, after months of planning, Operation Honor's first case goes to one of the 15. The flag switched from the old case made in China to the new one made by Samuel Deeds. The story doesn't end there. On a trip to Arlington National Cemetery with his father, Joe got the surprise of his life and a major boost for Operation Honor. It's a very short conversation. When can I get some of those cases here at Arlington National Cemetery? I have probably five or six guys that I served with personally that are buried at Arlington. For Samuel Deeds, the mission is clear. If you've got a flag case that says, handmade by a disabled veteran, and this, those U.S. flags are going in there, that just means the world to me that, you know, they're not being forgotten. Operation Honor plans to replace the remaining cases at the Veterans Cemetery there in Williamstown. They delivered their first cases, by the way, to Arlington today. If you'd like to learn more about Operation Honor and how you can get involved yourself, I've posted the information, in fact, on my Facebook page. Just go to McKee WCPO.